Why are you shy to say the Lord spoke to me? What is the problem? Hi, my name is Clovis Asobi. Welcome to this channel. The Lord bless you so much. I have this prophetic word for you and it's straight to the point. I want to ask you, why? Why is it that when the Lord is ministering to your heart, you, instead of saying the Holy Spirit ministered to me, you say something said to me. What is something? Is Holy Spirit something? Why you don't have the confidence to believe that God lives in you and God speaks to you and through you? You see, lack of confidence makes you lose contact with the voice of God. I'll say that again. Lack of confidence makes you lose contact with the voice of God. God will not trust you more if you don't have the confidence that he's the one speaking to you. For example, you want to go and visit a friend and then there's a prompting that says, don't go, don't go. And instead of you saying that the Holy Spirit ministered to me not to go, I had a leading in my heart not to go. So I stayed. He said, something said to me. You are not glorifying God in that. There are little things we say that makes the voice of God scarce, not knowing that. You, you think, okay, you know what? I don't want to... I don't want to lie. I don't want to, because since I don't know if it's God or it's not God, and I don't want to. How, 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 how are you in the place where you're getting too confused? Don't you know that at a certain point you have the mind of Christ in you, which means there are certain things, decisions you take that God automatically took over you. I have the mind of Christ in me. Who have the mind of Christ? Says we have it. So there, is, there are certain thinking that comes from the Lord directly. It inspires you. If you're a child of God, you have every potential in you to replicate heaven everywhere. Everywhere. You are praying. And then as you're praying, you begin to see some strange structures and images. And then you say, eh, I don't know if what I was seeing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You don't know. You're in the place of prayer and you don't know. Little things we say that really, you know, it, it really turns off some certain atmosphere from us. While I was praying, the Lord began to show me this vision. I began to see these things. That is it. These people of old that you see them prophesying and saying, not everything they prophesied by clear vision. They saw things clearly, like the gates were open. Some of the things came through their mind. Some of the things came through a prompt. Some of the things came through feelings. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. If you keep waiting that everything should be clear, dear brother in Christ, <laughs> you will hardly see things. You must believe in the leadership of the Spirit. And you must be bold to tell anybody, anybody, that this is what the Lord is saying. Especially if he's repeating, the voice of God is calm. This is what makes you become used to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Don't minimize the voice of God speaking to you through your thoughts sometimes through your feelings and instincts. Don't minimize it. And don't glorify Satan by saying something. There's nothing like something. The Holy Spirit ministered to me. I had a lead in my spirit. I had a lead in my spirit. This thought was coming to me while I was praying. I believe the Lord was ministering to me. This is what happened. You cannot be praying and then you had a scripture and then you say something told me to read. Verse this. What is something? The Holy Spirit gave me a scripture to read. This is how you glorify God. This is how it makes you, it will build your confidence that you're a child of God. I hope this video helps somebody. Go back and stop saying something. There's nothing like something. There's the Holy Spirit, there's Jesus, there's God, and there is you. <laughs> if the devil speaks to you, you will know that is the devil. He will tell you, jump, jump from this place and die. Jump from this place. These, his ways are the opposite of the word of God. Father, I pray that you give bonus to us to be able to minister your word whenever you speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Please subscribe if you're joining us for the first time. And I'll see you at the top. God bless you. Shalom.